I could have everybody's attention here in the deadline room, we are going to continue on with our Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series media availability here at Phoenix International Raceway. And we're joined by Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 Credit One Bank Chevrolet for Chip Ganassi Racing. Kyle is currently one point behind in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series point standings after some solid runs here in back-to-back -back weeks. Second in practice today. Is it your time? Do you feel like it's your time and uh, to, to really come and seize uh, seize the lead here this weekend? I hope so. Um, you know, I, our cars have had great speed every every week, so I'm I'm very happy with everybody's hard work at our, our shop. You know, the hard work they put in through the off season uh, and through the beginning of the year. So, um, you know, a win would be nice, and it'd be you know, nice to be the point leader right now. But you know, we just got to keep these solid runs going and, and build on that momentum, and, and hopefully. You know, the wins will start coming. Um, like I said, though, I'm, I'm really happy right now, having a lot of fun, and just, you know, hopefully we can keep it going. Okay. We'll open the floor to questions. We'll start with Lee, and we'll go to Tom, and then to Wolfgang, and then to Bob. Congratulations on running so well this season. Um, wanted to ask you, has your dirt track um, activities, you think that that has helped you with the stages this year, just knowing kind of how to pace yourself and, and being there at the end for stages? No, no. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, it's still, still the same length race. So uh, you just get a caution after uh, some laps. So um, no, I don't. I don't feel like the dirt racing's done anything. I, I feel like our race cars are better than they've ever been. So I think that's why we run inside the top ten for you know all race long uh, so far to start the season. It's not that I've got experience running heat races and stuff is why I just thought you know with a shorter you know how to run you know from that you short segments like that I didn't know if that was helping you at all uh I don't no I mean I don't think I don't think it I don't think it matters um you're still racing everybody races hard every lap so uh I don't know I don't really know how to answer that because I don't feel like it does anything like I don't think my heat races and, and stuff or just short races background affects it and can you point to anything as to why you, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, with this new, you know, with the stages, it seems it's really benefited the younger guys. It, it, you think that there's anything to that analysis as well? No, I mean, it's kind of the like same answer as before. I think our race cars are just really good. I think our race cars are all just really good right now. I don't, I don't think it, I don't think it, our age or inexperience or experience helps us. I think our race cars are just really good right now. Okay, we'll go next to Tom, then to Wolfgang, then to Bob, and then to Chris. Hi, Kyle. Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. You finished second in three of the last four points races. Do you feel good about that because you're running up front or frustrated because you haven't quite been able to close the deal given that these races are so hard to win? Um, no, I'm not frustrated at all. Um, I would love to run second every single week. Um, yeah, that, that would mean we'd have a great shot at win the championship. So, um, no, I mean, it would obviously be nice to, to get a win. Um, and, and we've challenged now um, for, you know, most of the last, you know, probably five races. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really cool to run up front. Um, but it's at the same time right now it's not it's not frustrating because it's it's good I've never had this speed uh, this early in the year so I'm, I'm soaking it all in and, and enjoying it uh, Kyle with this new format stage races is your approach different than the, the last years you have to put more into strategy with your crew chief is it more difficult to set up a strategy for the race so I think qualifying is more important now, and it's been nice that we've been qualifying good because uh, that helps you in that first stage to finish in the top ten. Um, and then I think, you know, last week you got to see a little bit of the strategy come into play uh, with getting cautions there late and, you know, some people pitting, some people staying out, some people taking two tires. Um, so I think that makes it exciting. Um, you know, this is the first, the first race I think that we won't, you know, it's it's not the we won't have to do a green flag stop. You know, we can make it to the end of a of a stage um, you know, without a caution. So I think that might be a little different if there was cautions to play or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I've enjoyed the stage racing so far. I, I don't know what the fans' opinions been on it, but I, I really think that it's made the racing exciting. Um, you know, I feel like you know I look back to Atlanta where um, 
you know, the first stage I was kind of falling back and uh, could see, you know, three or four guys coming to my mirror, getting close, and yeah, I was just racing really hard the last few laps of that to stay in front of them and was able to and, and gain a point. Um, and then, you know, the second stage of that race, you know, I was catching Newman and Truex and was racing really hard to get by them. Where normally in the past, you know, you probably wouldn't, you know, push it that hard, you know, at, at the first quarter and the first half of a race. So um, I've really enjoyed it, and I hope the fans have as well. We'll go to the back with Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, ESPN. I have two questions. The first is, uh, do you feel like if you're mad enough at somebody did, after last week that you can go down and, and punch them, and <laughs> would you be willing to do it? <laughs> Look how big I am. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, Joey's got probably about two feet longer reach on me too. So uh, no, but um, I, I'm not the fighting type. I don't think I've ever been mad enough. I've wanted to ever punch anybody. Um, mainly probably because I'm scared that I, I'm the one that's going to get beat up. Uh, but no, I, I don't know. I, I hope. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe I'm small enough too. Uh, I'm a lot smaller than most of the other drivers that maybe you know, they'll they'll see the disadvantage while they're walking over to my car and won't punch me. But uh, no, it's uh, that was pretty pretty exciting last week. And did uh, did you watch? Have you watched any replays of the wreck? Joey said he made a mistake. Any idea like how big a mistake did he make? Um. Yeah. I mean. It, it, yeah. It, the replays are, are replays are good, but also you don't get the replay of us. In our cockpit, um, so you know that view is the one that tells tells the tale, and um, it's hard to say. You know, he definitely got in there a little hot, and it looked like he clipped the apron, maybe some, which upset his car and, and got him chasing up the track. So, um, you know, hate it that they both had to go through that. You know, Kyle finished bad, and then you know the, the whole fight from everything about it. But um, you know, it's hard racing, and and they'll move on for the, from it, I'm sure, and and you know, race hard with each other. Go next to Chris and then to Reed. Chris Nightcatchfence.com. Kyle, how has uh, Chip Ganassi Racing benefited with Stuart House Racing under the Chevrolet Circle? Um, so the only thing I, I've noticed different um, now is is we share like engine your know, driver data. So you know throughout practice and stuff, I can look at all four of the Hendrick drivers' stuff as well as you know they can look at um, you know my my driver data. So like throttle, braking, steering, RPMs, stuff like that. Um, you know, we at Chicken Ass Racing build our own chassis. Um, I know Jeff maybe confused some people on the broadcast of saying we had Hendrick chassis, but uh, we all or our at our race shop we build our own chassis. So all we really get from Hendrick um, is you know that that driver data. As far as I know, there might be more behind the scenes, but the driver data and then uh, you know the engines. Go next to Reed. Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. You, Jamie, and Greg Alding were the only three to, to post 10 consecutive laps in this first practice. Are you getting a head start on race trim, or is everybody else just hiding what they've got? Uh, so this year we've, you know, in that first practice, we tried to make a, you know, use up that first set of tires and, and make a longer run uh, before we go to qualifying trim. So that's, uh, that's what we've been doing. And I wasn't super happy with our long run speed it was only you know 10 laps but um i felt like we fell off too much so we'll probably have to work on that overnight and uh try and make it better for tomorrow this is as hot as it's ever been here for us so i think everybody's fighting balance a little bit any additional questions for kyle yeah kyle tom jensen foxsports.com again do you think it was appropriate to not hand out a penalty in the logano bush thing should those guys have been penalized or should nascar have let it go I don't have an opinion on that. I don't. I don't know. It's uh, it's their call. I mean, obviously, you know, with our our new sponsor, uh, Monster Energy. Um, yeah, they're they're an edgy brand. So, um, I think what you saw last week was edgy. Um, and you know, I, I don't know though. It's uh, it's hard. You know, they've NASCAR. Um, it's just hard. You know, they they used to penalize people for that stuff, and then now they don't. So. Yeah, I don't think anybody knows really where they stand on it. Thank you. Kyle, appreciate you taking your time, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you.